Hi everyone, it's me Roxanne and I'm back with a new video featuring the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960. In this segment, which is part 19 in my ongoing video series, I will be showing you how to use the ruffler attachment. This is a separate purchase. It didn't come with the Singer 9960, but it's well worth the investment if you'd like to make uniform ruffles or gathering for skirts, petticoats, or anything that you like full gathered ruffles. Stay tuned! Here's the attachment that I'm going to be showing you how to use today. This is a Singer ruffler attachment. Notice all the gears and adjustments. And I know it looks a little bit scary to begin with, but once you master this, it's a very, very nice addition to your uh, sewing foot collection. I also have two other rufflers that I've collected over the years. This one is a vintage model, and it's made by Greased. And as you can see, it has adjustability and gears very similar to the Singer model. And the other one I have doesn't have a brand name on it, but as you can see, it's very similar with the gears and the adjustments. So now I'm going to show you how to install the Singer attachment on your Singer 9960. Before showing you how to install this attachment onto your sewing machine, I want to point out some of the different adjustments that are available with this foot. First of all, notice on the very top of the foot that there are three large slots and one small slot. Now this adjustment, I'm going to slide it over to the first slot. And you'll see that it sits right down on this peg. Now the first slot, I hope I can get in tight enough to show you, there is a little number one right here. Now that number one represents that this attachment on this setting will ruffle every stitch. Slots two and three, two is, has a number six and three has a number 12. That means that every six, six stitch or every 12 stitch you will receive a pleat or a ruffle. And then this last slot with the star will uh, render your uh, attachment uh, ruffleless. It will stop the ruffling effect. Now the next thing I'd like to show you is this adjustment here with the orange screw. Now if you look on this side of the attachment you will see different designations on this side, if you adjust this lever up, you will receive less ruffles and the depth of the ruffle will be less. As you move this adjustment down, toward the bottom, the depth of your ruffle will become larger, which means you will, at adjusting at the top, you'll receive smaller pleats or ruffles than adjusting this knob down to the bottom, you'll receive a deeper pleat or ruffle. The other two things I'd like to point out are, this is the attached shank, and this will be attached to the shaft of your machine and this lever will be attached to your needle bar. So as your needle bar moves up and down with the stitching, this is how the adjustment is made for your pleat or your ruffle. Here I am at the front bed of the sewing machine and I've gone ahead and removed my extension table so that I can get a closer look for you. The first thing you need to do is remove the, the snap-on foot by pressing the little button behind the shank. 
And then you're also going to need to remove the shank because the shank is included on the ruffle attachment. So go ahead and unscrew that completely and remove the shank. Here I am holding the ruffler attachment before I install it onto the machine. I wanted to show you one more thing and that's where the fabric is fed in to ruffle. This portion right here is called the upper blade and this on the bottom is the lower blade. The fabric will pass between the two and then as the needle bar goes up the fabric will be pushed between the blades. So that's how the fabric is gathered. Now I'm going to show you how to put this attachment onto your machine. I'd like you to notice that this is the needle bar where the screw set holds in the needle of the machine. And this horseshoe shaped piece on the attachment needs to go around that needle bar. This is the shaft, excuse me, this is the shaft of the machine and this shank has to go around this portion and be tightened down with this screw set. It's not necessary to take the screw all the way out. It makes it a little more difficult to put it in. Uh, just gently maneuver this attachment around these two areas and the needle and it will slip into position very easily just like that. Now tighten down your screw firmly and you will want to tighten it with a screwdriver because it sort of sets the attachment into position properly and align with your your needle and the hole in the foot. The last thing you'll want to do is take your thread and put it under the presser foot. And now you're ready to stitch. Before I go ahead and I do my uh, demo ruffle, I wanted to show you the LCD screen and how I have my stitch set up. This indicates that I have it set up for a straight stitch with a center needle position. And this shows that I have my straight stitch set at a 2.5 or a default stitch length. Here I am ready to do my test stitch and as I always use I have my white woven mid-weight fabrication poly cotton blend. Start by placing the fabric between the upper and lower blades and pull toward the back. I have the machine set to ruffle every stitch and to take the least amount of fabric in the ruffle. Place your presser foot down and stitch. You can go slow, it's fine. It's easier to feed the fabric if you go slowly to keep it very even. And look at how beautifully and even all of these gathers are. For my next demo, I've already inserted the fabric and I'm going to show you how it looks when it stitches every sixth stitch by adjusting this upper lever and by adjusting the knob all the way down so it takes the largest bite of fabric. Place your presser foot down and slowly start to sew. This is perfect for creating trims with decorative fabrics. 
or even lace. Look at all of those evenly spaced, perfect pleats. How great is that? Thank you so much for tuning in to my latest video featuring the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960, where I show how to use the ruffler attachment. You too can create all of these beautiful effects with this uh, simple attachment. All it takes is a little time and effort to learn, and you'll be ruffling like crazy in no time. Have a happy creative day now. Bye.